He's just on a, a golden run at the moment. Oh, he's bowled him! Well, Brett Hatton. Fast bowlers in cricket know how to make the ball dance, and sometimes they even make the batsman dance. This dancing ball or swinging ball is a nightmare for batsmen. But what is swing bowling? What is conventional swing? What is reverse swing? Bowlers might know this art quite well, but do you know there is a lot of hidden science behind it that they're using? Watch this video till the end to know all about it. Swing bowling is all about changing the direction of the ball mid-air. But what causes the ball to move sideways? A NASA scientist and cricket enthusiast, Rabindra Mehta, studied cricket ball aerodynamics for nearly three decades. His findings revealed the science behind swing bowling. Let us first understand the design of a cricket ball. A cricket ball is made up of a cork and is covered by a leather casing. The two halves of the ball are stitched by a string and this is known as the seam. On both sides of the seam, the surface of the ball degrades with use. The fielding side will usually allow one side to roughen up while keeping the other side shiny. Why? You will know this in a little while. The typical way to create swing is to use the seam and the asymmetry of the ball. If the seam of the ball is in the direction of the throw, then the ball will go straight. If the seam is at an angle, then the ball will go in the seam's direction. Which basically means that if the seam is pointed outward from the batsman, then the ball will go outward. And likewise, if the seam is pointed inwards to the batsman, the ball will go inwards. When the ball is released from the hand, it goes through the air. The ball diverts the airflow in two directions, one towards the smooth side and the other towards the rough side. At the smoother area, the flow of air is smooth and is called laminar flow. On the other hand, when the air goes towards the other side, the ball seam disturbs the airflow and makes the flow rough or turbulent. This creates an air pressure difference between the two sides. The pressure at the turbulent flow side is much lower than the pressure at the smoother side. The ball swings in the direction where the air pressure is low and hence it will move with the seam. This type of swing is known as conventional swing. There is another type of swing bowling, which is known as reverse swing. To reverse swing the ball, the ball's rough side is faced towards the batsman. The ball diverts the airflow in two directions, one towards the rough side, which creates the turbulent flow, and another towards the seam side, which disturbs the flow of the air and makes the flow turbulent. But the turbulence at the rough side is more than the turbulence at the smooth side, and hence, the air pressure at the rough side is less than the air pressure at the smooth side. This makes the ball swing opposite to the direction of the seam and hence makes the ball reverse swing. There is one other type of swing bowling as well. It is called contrast swing. In this, the direction of the seam is in the direction of the throw. Both the sides will have the turbulent flow, but the turbulence at the rough side will be more and hence the ball will swing towards the rough side. So how can you tell what type of swing a particular bowler is producing? Make a note of the seam orientation and swing direction. If they are coincident, it is conventional swing. If opposed, it is reverse swing. And if the seam is pointing straight down the pitch, you've just witnessed contrast swing. Hope the science of swing bowling would help you with your next cricket match with your friends. Try to make the ball dance and you can flaunt this technique. If you're batting though, I'll hope you'll keep an eye on the position of the rough side and the seam and then pick your favourite shot.